Welcome to the lesson that's going to talk about design consistency when creating presentations. So as you can see, each slide, all the images are in the exact same spot and all the quotes are in the same spot. That's consistency. Notice that the font is the same size as well. So I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate how to set up a slide. In this particular presentation, I provided sources where you can go to get quotes about social justice. So this could be any topic of your choice. So I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate how to set this up. I'm going to go ahead and find a quote that I like. When looking for quotes, keep in mind you want it to be short and simple because this one, for example, would not fit on the presentation. So I found one right here. No man can think clearly when his fists are clenched. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab this. I'll select it and I will right click and choose copy or control C. I'll go back to the presentation. I will select this text and I will do edit paste without formatting. This is really important because that keeps the formatted text. You don't want the font to be different. You then want to come in and put quotes around the quote and then I'm going to go ahead and put this symbol. You don't have to and I'm done with the quote on this one. I'm going to select this image. I'm going to choose replace image search the web. I will try clenched fist. I went ahead and changed the search to clenched fist argue and I found this image. I will go ahead and double click on it to swap the image. If it's of poor quality you need to go back in, replace image, search the web and look for another one. So I changed the search again and typed in clenched fist fight and here's an image. I will try that and that's of good quality so I'm going to go ahead and leave that slide as is. Another strategy you could use is go to a Google search. In this case, the topic is social justice quotes. Social justice quotes. I will go to images and look for one that I want to represent. So let's say you want this one. You can go ahead and right click and choose copy. Go ahead and go to the slide and do edit paste. This is only going to be here temporarily. I'm going to make it smaller and I will go ahead and start setting this up. I can take the text, do a quote, and then start typing what it says. And then end quote. I'll do the little character there and type in Pope Paul. Do double check that whoever is listed as the author of the quote is truly the author of that quote. So you'll want to double check. You're going to want to go ahead and take that quote copy it. I'll go ahead and do control C or right click and copy. Go to a Google search and paste it in. Control V and hit the enter key. You need to investigate if Pope Paul VI is the actual person who made that quote. You could also say who said and then hit the enter key. And you'll want to go ahead and research. Goodreads is pretty good. So it turns out that it was actually Pope Paul VI who said that quote. Go ahead and delete that and now you just have to figure out which image you want to replace that with. This concludes the session on how to set up your slides consistently and accurately. Until next time, you have a wonderful day.